In this video, we're going to start the Infinite Algebra 1 under the CUDA software website multi-step inequalities worksheet. We're going to use very similar methods to solving multi-step equations in which we combine like terms as well as using the tools and tips from one-step and two-step inequalities. So our directions are to solve each inequality and graph its solution. In number one, we have three is less than negative five in plus two in. We're going to start by combining like terms on the right hand side, the negative five in and the two in. That'll leave us with three is less than negative five in plus two in is a negative three in. Then it's just a one step inequality. We're going to divide by negative three and since we're dividing by a negative, we are going to have to remember to flip this inequality sign. So three divided by negative three is a negative one, and that's going to be greater than negative three n divided by negative three, which is the positive n. We can also rewrite this as n is less than negative one. Remember keeping the inequality sign oriented the correct way. So we have n is less than negative one. Graphing that, it's the same as we did in one step and two step inequalities. We're going to circle the negative one and shade everything to the left since n is less than negative one. And just as I did in the previous videos, I'll split this up into three separate videos. So I'll do numbers one through eight and then nine through 16 and then finish out the rest of the worksheet in the third video. Moving on to number two, we're going to combine like terms on the left hand side. So the two six x's will be combined to be 12 x and that'll be plus two since that's still left on the left hand side is less than 14. Now I'm going to subtract two from both sides to get that 12 x is less than 12. Dividing by 12, we will get that x since 12 x divided by 12 is one x which is x is less than 12 divided by 12, which is one. That's the solution to this multi-step inequality. So now let's graph. Circle the one, not filling it in, but shading everything to the left. On to number three. Negative p minus four p is greater than negative 10. Combine the like terms on the left. There's two terms with p in them. So negative p minus four p, we're going further into the negatives, and that's going to be negative 5p, and that's greater than negative 10. Divide by a negative 5 on both sides, and since we divided by a negative, we're going to have to flip the inequality. So this will be p is less than a positive 2. Find the 2, circle it, and p is less than 2, so we're shading everything to the left. In number four, we have 18 is greater than or equal to 5k plus 4k. Combining like terms on the right hand side, we're going to have 18 on the left is greater than or equal to 9k on the right. Then it's just a one step inequality. Divide both sides by nine to get that two is greater than or equal to k. And if you wanna rewrite that with the variable on the left side, just flip it around to be k is less than or equal to two. Graphing this, we're going to circle and fill in the two since k can be equal to the two, but it's less than or equal to, so we're shading in to the left. Number five, we have nine is greater than or equal to negative two m plus two minus three. Combining like terms on the right hand side, there's only one term with m, but we can combine the two and the negative three if this was plus a negative. So we have nine is greater than or equal to negative two m plus two minus three or two plus negative three is a negative one. This is now a two step inequality. We're going to add one to both sides to get that 10 is greater than or equal to negative two m and then divide by that negative two. And since we're dividing by a negative, we're switching the inequality so 10 divided by negative two is a negative five, and that's going to be not greater than or equal to, but less than or equal to m. We can rewrite this 
as m is greater than or equal to negative 5. Find the negative 5, circle, and shade it in, and then m is greater than or equal to, so it's everything to the right. For number 6, we have negative 3 minus 6 times the quantity 4x plus 6 is greater than negative 111. Let's start by distributing the 6. And let's go ahead and make this a negative 6. Since we're subtracting 6, we'll do plus a negative 6. So we're going to distribute that negative 6. We'll get negative 3 plus negative 24x plus negative 36. And that's going to be greater than negative 111. Let's combine the like terms now. We have negative 3 and a negative 36 on the left hand side. So we're going to combine those to get negative 39 plus negative 24x is greater than negative 111. Now we're going to add 39 to both sides. We'll be left with a negative 24x on the left hand side and that's going to be greater than a negative 72 on the right. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this line over here. Negative 24x is greater than negative 72. So now we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 24. When we divide by negative, we have to flip the inequality. So this is going to become less than. So x is less than a positive 3. Locating the 3, circle that and shade everything to the left. For number 7, we have 6 minus 4 times 6n plus 7 is greater than or equal to 122. Start by distributing the 4, but like we did in the last problem, we're going to distribute that as a negative 4. So negative 4 times 6n and negative 4 times 7. That'll leave us with 6 plus negative 24n plus negative 28 is greater than or equal to 122. Combining like terms on the left hand side, we have to combine the 6 with the negative 28. 6 combined with negative 28 will leave us with a negative 22. So negative 22 plus negative 24 in is greater than or equal to 122. We're going to add 22 to both sides to get that negative 24 in is greater than or equal to 144. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that inequality step. And then we're just going to divide both sides by negative 24. This will leave us with n is switching the inequality since we divided by a negative less than or equal to a negative 6. Circle, shade in the negative 6, and then we're going to shade in everything to the left as negative 6 as well. And on to the last problem in this video. Negative 138 is greater than or equal to negative 6 times 6b minus 7. 6 goes into 138, so I'm going to start this by dividing by that negative 6. Remembering to flip the inequality sign. So negative 138 divided by negative 6 is a positive 23. That's going to be less than or equal to 6b minus 7. Add 7 to both sides and we'll get that 30 is less than or equal to 6b. Divide by 6 to get that 5 is less than or equal to b. And we can rewrite this as b is greater than or equal to 5. Either way is correct. I'm going to go ahead and box my answer and graph the solution. Circling the 5, filling it in, and then shading everything to the right. B is greater than or equal to 5.